All right, I'm back. Uh, last week I had some family in from out of town, so when family's around, I really try to focus and uh, you know spend time with family. I feel that you know that's one of the most important things in life, let alone you know you know taking that little time out because time is the only commodity you can never get back. When it's spent, it is spent. So I try to make sure I get as much as possible. So that being say, said, SPY continues to the upside. Got an indecision day. I mean, we have a lot of days that we've seen. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen days. Basically, with higher lows. We're gonna have to get some type of retracement or something like that. So, uh, and it's you know you got little ones, one bar, one bar. But again, I feel like you're just gonna have to get some type of retracement. And you see volume is decreasing a little bit. Look at the weekly time frame. You see, we have a great, you know, it broke out, gave you the higher lows, pretty much here, here, here. Bias was always to the upside because of what we see going on with the weekly time frame. And uh, right now, you just, things don't just go straight up or straight down. So you got three, basically three, four weeks up. So expect some type of pullback. Or if you're in positions now uh, that you got in from a couple weeks ago, or maybe a week or, few, or you know, if you're swing trading, then you definitely want to just peel some profits on and, and basically roll your stop up to break even at least. Um, QQQ weekly time frame you can see looks really good. Uh, basically broke out of this these lower highs uh, and, and continued again. Just a little bit of pullback would be natural actually. So uh, I was small indecision day. So want to see if we could get some spacing from these highs so we could get the low and, and basically either tap this these highs of 9150 go higher or if we can actually it doesn't even go there that would be actually really good for the trend uh to show the strength uh you got the russell uh russell same thing looking good broke from this sloppy pattern gave you this nice higher low and then just shot up uh fast moving pattern so looking good so far iwm uh, which is going to show some type of volume. Uh, you can see that it's going to taper off a little bit. But again, this was the, the fast move right here. One, two, three, you know, four. But you had this creep down, just sloppy trend. But then you got that. Looks pretty good so far. Uh, Apple. <laughs> Apple seeing it under uh, 100 is actually pretty, pretty uh, different. So again, I wouldn't be short in this thing. You can see from today's action that uh, pretty much probably squeezed out a lot of shorts from here. Got them up pretty much trading sideways, but you have the higher lows as well. If you want to look at, let's say, an hourly, uh, two day, give me a 30 minute. Yeah, 30 minute. You can see that it pretty much broke above and it's continuing to the downside. So, excuse me, to the upside. So, we just see this sideways consolidation. Um, maybe we could get a measured move. Uh, if we could get it to break out above, then you might look at another $2.30 to the upside above that. So that could be something to look forward to. Again, I wouldn't be shorting, but I, again, I do expect some, you know, you have from this gap up, you know, you had this sideways movement, and then you had another little two, two bar pullback, maybe one, if you want to even call this a pullback and popping back up. You got a MasterCard, come on, what is going on? I know it's been a while so uh, didn't break out we want Facebook we have um, again uh, I would just be careful you see it's pretty much trading in this box uh, so let's try to get some type of box movement right here so you see it's trading like this for a little while again the bias would be to the upside so if you're aggressive you take a buy above the high of uh, this candle um, I don't really do the breakouts anymore. I just don't find them to be, uh, I'd rather be taking profits actually when most are break, looking to get in. But it's just a different way of trading and everybody has their own style. So there's not, nothing uh, you know good or bad about it. Uh, price line is still pulling back. Um, if you wanna look at some type of retracement, let's see what we look like from here. Um, it's a healthy retracement back to almost not even 38 uh, percent so it, it's still you know you get some type of higher low you could definitely uh take that and uh look for it again if i would take that i would want to get in here so that i could peel some off at the 1300 when most people are trying to get in because it might get a 1300 pull back a little bit and it, it'll stop people out and you can look at that on all time frames um you know uh, and, and it is what it is so uh you got amazon uh amazon it uh, looks okay. Let me kind of take all this crap off. Um, 
all right it's all gonna pop back on because I did this but again you see this going on right here so um, the, the buy would have been on basically underneath here but that would have been really aggressive if you were there and if you did then right here would be profit taking because of this downtrend line so that's fine you got Ford uh, Ford probably you know a lot of breakout traders probably got a little squeezed here but again you know i think the entry would have been more down here maybe right here and profit taking is probably going to happen a little bit so we just want to be careful let's look at the banking sectors uh bank of america coming back to test these previous uh, highs and to fill that gap so it is fill the gap so that looks pretty good for that uh goldman sachs again indecision candle not much going on right here but again look at the weekly you can see that we have this downtrend line uh put in place so let's see if we could break above that uh, you got Wells Fargo uh, really looking good on the weekly if you're, you're trending this one I mean it really gave a nice signal pretty much from this engulfing and pretty much once it got above this candle it has moved up tremendously so this is up almost six percent which is awesome for this stock so you use uh, Netflix you got Netflix giving you a little bit of pullback, but again, this has had a hell of a run too. So ex ex expect this, expect that you're gonna get some type of, you know, things don't go straight up or straight down, but goodness, this is pretty straight up. And it's because of the way that the QQQ set up. And you can look at what I said, uh, pretty much about this, this pattern, you know, this four uh, higher lows um, right here. And once it hit that one, it's pretty much shot up and it shot up with some, you know, up almost, five and a half six percent so look for those patterns and you can see again these patterns are to will repeat themselves and you want to just see if you can see them in other names and see what the reaction is before you take the trade so again uh glad to be back and uh again today was a pretty sideways day regarding the overall price action for the day but again just remember what the big picture is and what the trend looks like so uh take care